Also tonight, lawmakers are trying to stop people from sending unwanted lewd pictures to others online. You know what we're talking about. It's called cyber flashing. So you might be surprised at just how widespread this issue is. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live at the state capitol with reaction tonight. Matt? Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, Connecticut is not the first state to try and cut down on this form of online harassment. And folks we were talking with today say a bill being discussed here at the Capitol could make a difference. It's crazy. It's very common, very unfortunate. Tonight, lawmakers are looking to crack down on people online sending unsolicited and obscene pictures of intimate areas to others. It's obviously a very uncomfortable situation that it puts people in, and I just think it's definitely something that no one should be put in. We're told so-called cyber flashing is predominantly directed at women. A Pew Research Center survey from 2017 found about half 53% of women ages 18 to 29 say someone had sent them explicit images they did not ask for. Overall, when it comes to online harassment, 35% of women say it was extremely or very upsetting. I think more people should know about it. Um, I think it's uncool when you know people give you those pictures and you don't want them. Today, Democratic senators announced more of their priorities for this legislative session. Among them would be Senate Bill 4. That bill will also address um, and give a right for civil action concerning cyber flashing, which is an important initiative that a few other states uh, have taken up. And I'm, I'm glad that Connecticut is going to make that a priority uh, effort this year. Under the proposal, people who received the images could sue the sender for an automatic civil penalty of $500 plus legal fees. Those we talked with say it's a good step. I'm really in support of it. I know it's very common and it shouldn't be and I think that it will kind of help stop that from happening as much as it does. And we're told this idea is similar to laws that recently passed in California and Virginia. Live tonight at the State Capitol, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, back to you.